with that. Not through it. This is an improvement. I swear. You're moving. This is called moving an inch. Bushwhacking this terrain in a trickle of water with a paddleboard is an upgrade. Trust me. What are we doing here? <laughs> the last time I came here, I walked 90 miles across a dry, forgotten river channel. My backyard river, the Colorado, I've been chasing its flow for years. Most people think of it as that loved architect of the Grand Canyon, carrying the memory of the Rocky Mountains near my home in Colorado. But it is different down here, at the end, of our skilled plumbing on this Southwest lifeline. I've sucked it dry, so we can eat baby spinach in January. But in the spring of 2014, something happened. Two countries decided to work together to restore a delta. The hands of many lifted the gates on the Morelos Dam and released a temporary pulse of water. Less than 1% of the river's flow, Mexico's allocated agua into the delta to see what would happen. A river of sand became wet once again, and a fiesta ignited downstream. Locals celebrated the return of their Rio Native species exploded with seeds. The river party only lasted a few weeks, though. To partake, we did what any river lovers would do. We floated it by canoe, paddleboard, and eventually slogged it by foot, crossing the shallows. I believe this is the Colorado. It's hard to tell because generally the real Colorado has no water. But as it Pretty friggin' nice river right now. Uh, it looks amazing. Usually, this part of the river is completely dry. It's sand, no? it's, and it's been many years like that. And on May 7th, after nine 13 hour long paddling days, I'm so tired, I can barely stand. We crossed 90 miles of the delta and reached the sea. It was the first and only paddleboard crossing of the new delta. And the first time the Colorado River kissed the sea in nearly two decades. On many levels, it was a preposterous journey. Foolish, and even wrong-headed. I don't feel like I'm getting anywhere. The most absurd paddleboard mission ever. It's also beautiful and symbolic that with a relative trickle, we can bring a river back to life if we try.